set, the best of five racks. The first rack, America to break. Here we are, and who'd have thought it? Live at 1.09 in the morning. A five hour and eight minute comeback by the Americans to bring the Moscone Cup to the last molecule of the wire. Jimmy White will play this sudden death set against legend Lou Gutierrez. It's, it's the first, first to get two legs clear. And the second should be five. Rax doesn't have to be, though. And if it got to 4-4, four, four, there'd be one sudden death. So after all the fury and the sound and the class and the elegance, the smiles and the frowns, the ups and downs, Jim. It's a sudden death situation. And if you've been watching the tennis, you probably can't believe your luck. You've tuned in at the most opportune time of your life to catch a sudden death one set playoff between the people's champion, Jimmy White, and a Hall of Famer, Lou Batera. Absolutely, Jim. Jim White, an expert on this game as he is on snooker. He's been immense help for me this week. He showed me the finer points. Can't do them on the pitch, but at least I can think them. As Jimmy screws back beautifully. Barry Hahn, the mentor and mindly masterpiece of this tournament, sees Jim do it. Come with the hour, come with the moment, come with the man, come with the burbles from Oregon. It just doesn't get any better than this, no matter what sport you're watching. It's all about one set. The Moscone Cup, named after an American legend nine ball player. The Americans, the holders, Europe challenging that dominance. So, rack two. About to be played. 15 15. A five hour fight back by the Americans has brought it to that. And in that time, the Europeans only wanted one game. Well, they got it. It is now the one game. The ones in the crowd will cheer every ball that the whirlwind twists up. The two's looking nice, Jim. He's looking at the blue two right now. He made the one, the three over the middle pocket, the red three. And the purple four next. And then it's up the table for the orange five. If ever there was a game suited to a player's style, it's nine ball to the whirlwind. There you go, Jim, and uh, he's going. He's not going to let Lou have a shot. To look at that, Jim. <laughs> Tremendous cue power, but just a little astray. Found the center pocket, and it's cue ball in hand for the Lou, the machine gun Butera, and it should be easy enough to just mop up the remains. Cue ball in hand to those of you non aficionados. Means that on any foul, you can reposition any way you like with the white on the table. Anywhere to your own advantage. What's looking like? Wanna like? Sudden death set. That's right. And right now, the cheering is going on for what they are hoping is going to be a European victory. But you know, I had dinner with Lou Batera as Jimmy looks on. And Lou said he would like to be playing every match tonight. He felt he could handle the pressure 
Well, he's got it. He wanted it, asked for it, and Lou, you're right in the middle of it now. Fit to be mentioned in the same name, in the same name rack as Minnesota rack. Fats. America to break. Steve Miserak, Hall of Famer, Lou Butera, taking on, if we had a Hall of Fame in Snooker, Jimmy, one of the top three names on the list ever. Without a doubt. Jump shot coming up, and he's missed it. Cue ball in hand for Jimmy. Jimmy with the cue ball in hand, takes the two, he's gone up for the three, and there's Sharon Tokley sitting with Steve Davis. She's had the nightmare operation of putting all this together, and what a job she's done. Yes, how to keep tabs on a whirlwind and a hurricane with great difficulty, Pat. How to keep all these people together under one roof takes a genius. It's 1-1 one, one in the sudden death set. And Jimmy just having a quick look at the orange five. He wants the green six. Over the at the top, runs on just where he wants it. Slaps the brown in. And this could put him and Europe one rock away if he can work round for a clean hit on the black. The script couldn't have been written any better than this. Jimmy White, the people's champion. The pressure of all of Europe on his shoulders and Sid. What a better man to take that. Yeah, he's it. got the temperament, he's got the cheek. He's got the crown on his side. Get your heart out, Damon Runyon. Sky Sports rewrite the script on Nine Ball Pool Live. Just look at that face. Focused, concentration. He's made the one off the break. Can he get through to the blue two? So Jim's got the equipment. I think he played earlier with a snooker cue. He's got his potting cue in his hand now, having used his break cue. This think is pretty easy by his standards. The middle pockets are sometimes tight. Not to White! White on fire here! He's buzzing. He's looking at the red three. The bull, John DeToro, looks on. Yeah, the bull can only sit at the gate, though, because you know what happens to livestock when there are whirlwinds about. It's best to keep your head down. Look at that for a shot. Magic! Needs to get away from the green six, and he hasn't done it. The orange five, the ball on, and a shake of the head. Jimmy knows the chance may have gone away. And now he's turned it right over to the American, Lou Batera. Got a win by two clear in this... It's a sudden death set. It's supposed to be five rocks. But if it keeps tight, if it keeps tight, I think he's going. But the nine ball of two! Brilliant shot! A little bit fortunate, but the nine is in, and he'll take it. A relieved Lou Batera, as is Dallas West and the American team. There's Mike Galassi, Mike Massey, John DeToro. Two, two, they know it. Um, the senior citizens in the American camp, like Dallas West, he just potato just flashed the victory sign. That V for victory. He thinks it's theirs. The final rock. America to break. So will the Yanks given V for victory signs. Two, two. The game became a marathon, a classic.
call it what you like, and then they go 15-15. And nobody's off the pace in this sudden death set. Unbelievable hit from Butera. And isn't it fitting that this epic battle should come right down to the climax? Two legends. A snooker legend. A whole thing. If there's a more popular sportsman in Britain, we don't know him. Right now, the whirlwind blowing up a storm here in Basildon. It's the purple four, the orange five, and the green six. And the hard work will have been done. Oxygen being delivered to the comedy banks. We need wind in our sails. Has the whirlwind any problems so far? Those American faces look tense, Jim. And well, they should. He's on the brown seven, the black eight, and the nine. We'll put Jimmy and Europe 3 2 in front. Just listen to the crowd. What is to get everybody in Sheffield going bananas? And the Edison World Snooker Championships. He's previous in delirium here in Basel and Jimbo. Not over yet. So you've got to go too clear. But there ain't no way out, Lou. Jimmy in the enviable position of breaking off here with a chance to win it. It's at his fingertips. You've got to win by two clear racks. It's 3-2. The crowd will go bananas if he gets one, at least down here. There's no obvious shot. There isn't a shot on the one outs here. The yellow doesn't go for Lou. He's looking at the yellow one. It doesn't look like anything easy, so he's playing the snooker, and it looks like he's got it. And it's a good one. No easy path to contacting that one here. Jim asks about the push-out rule, only after the break. So Jim has to go into cue action. Possibly a swerver, Jim? There'll be no swerver here. He's looking at the one cushion escape. I think the side cushion and the bottom cushion. Well, he's found it off one and Almost just about it knocked it in the side. But he's left it on to the top right-hand corner, Sid. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let the nine-inch contacts just near the pocket fool you. They go in off the rail at this. No Butera clattering back. Looks good for making a 3-3 in the sudden death. Act. And if it gets the 4-4 round of our there's a ninth rack. And that's it. He's it's looking a sudden death that might be coming up. That's right, Sid. He's looking at the orange five. The green six is next. This is very awkward. He's knocking them in like they're over the pocket, but his work isn't done yet. This is a difficult eight. Just the time Jimmy and the Euro team on the crowd want. We could be about 11 seconds. Count it now. You can seven, count it now, Sid. Five, four, three. Jimmy's four, done it. Let's go. Like I 
said this script couldn't have been written any better. He's done it. White has won the Moscone Cup from the Americans. Brilliant stuff for five hours. The Americans peg back at us. Peg, peg, and peg back they came. The Europeans could not.